watching Suck Professor. Hey everybody, it's me Hank. I'm joined by James. Say your name. <laughs> he hates this part. <laughs> um, he's too James. Far. James. James. <laughs> hey, new video, new day. So James, if we're gonna do day night cycles, our days are gonna be 60 minute long videos. <laughs> I might need to chop the days into two parts. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So hey everybody, sorry, welcome to the channel. This is our Alpha 16 7 Days to Die playthrough. Uh, early stages here. We haven't had a Blood Moon yet. We have a plan. If you've been watching, you know what our plan is. But real quick for you noobs. We, to build a, we have a see that little structure there. There's a pit at the bottom that we're going to fill with spikes. And uh, they'll start working on spikes. Good luck, spikes. Oh yeah, I can make three. Oh, you need 45. Okay. All right, lots of trees need chopping it. And um, so the pit will be filled with spikes, and we're hoping that the zombies will crash their way through our walls. But we're going to be up on top of a second story platform, so to speak. And um, they'll fall down there and hopefully just uh, writhe around in anguished supernatural agony, moaning and groaning, clawing at each other's eyes, not even having a full comprehension indeed even that there is a sense of other heck they do have a sense of themselves how can they understand the concept like an eyeball okay so uh oh, that good water. whoa damn dude james whatever the hell you just did it, it looked like a bomb went off like a a bunch of dirt shot straight into the air did you just chop down a tree <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah, it was just a tree. That was all it was. <laughs> that was hilarious. It was. It was it looked really cool. It looked like an explosion, but it wasn't any fire or anything. It was just like a big dirt blast. That was hilarious. And uh, that'll be our first blood moon. Then we're gonna do some exploring because this has so far been kind of a haphazard series. Although I missed the first because they started. Look at his glasses. His glasses are not dark. It's funny. Uh oh, I gotta get food. Dude, I'm super low on food. I might just have to do the dying technique. It's a little cheating. I don't like doing it, though. That's... Definitely need to move our bedrolls from outside when the blood room comes, though. Yeah. Are you crafting spikes? Because I am doing wood log spikes right now. I just don't want to make any that we don't, I don't want to waste any unnecessary resources. So I'll make all the spikes for the floor, okay? Unless you've already made some. Uh, I can't hear you over the tree. What was that? Oh, sorry. What was that? Uh, have you already made wood log spikes for the floor? For the pit? No, I've been focusing on the perimeter spikes, not the pit spikes. All right, I'll make some pit spikes. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, this is a quick menu. Okay, oh, I like that. I'm holding down the tab button. I don't actually know how many we need because I didn't. I don't know the size, but whatever. It's probably gonna be like twenty something. Well, it'll be, if it's five by, it's at least eight by eight. Mini zombie horde. Uh -oh. Coming over the hill. Do you see them? Hello? Yep. I hear you. I hear you. I'm looking. I see them. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yep. I see some. Do you want to fight or run? Crap. I have no weapons. Do you want um, some arrows? I don't know what we're going to do. I, I have arrows. test the pit. Come to me and I have arrows. Uh, yeah, let's test the pit. This is huge. We can't fight them. Fuck. Should we take a U-turn into the water? Should we take a U-turn into the water and just swim a, a big U to get them off into the water and slow down? Whatever. Uh, we'd freeze to death. All right, let's go up then. You have frames. Need a frame? Oh shit! Did I trap? 
half of them. They're going into the water. They're ducklings. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe they're. Uh, That's bizarre. Maybe this is like these are these are those workout <laughs> people right. that exercise. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, the polar bear zombies. All right, that works for me. Well, don't. Okay, stay away from the shore for a. Little. Yep. All right. I'm gonna just keep an eye on them in case they decide to come back around. <laughs> we haven't had any bright sunny days. I mean, we only have one day and we need wood. Yeah, no, I get it. I'm just... Because they might turn, make a sudden turn or something. All right. Yeah, we need way more. Okay. Good, good on you for spotting that. If, that. if they had caught us off guard, we would have been in trouble. I mean, we would have run away, but... Yeah, that was like a dozen of them. It was horrible. Yeah, that, that was, that was going to be really bad. Do you need some arrows? I have 155. I have zero. Alright, let me give you a few. Once I'm done murdering this tree. Here, turn around. Turn around. There you go. Cool, thank you. You're welcome. We probably could use a few more, but that's that's a good amount. Is this biome just kind of depressing? Like we yeah, we haven't had any sun. It's rained and snowed because we're right next to the sun, and everything's kind of grayed out. It's never full sun, full clean. <laughs> what? What happened? I feel like it has been at some times, but there's I been don't know. brighter times, but honestly, I don't think it has. Is that a thing though, where it's like a, a biome that's just filled with kind of crepuscular colors? I don't know. Whatever. I guess I'll repair it. I want to make a new one. What the experience? Oops. Duh. <laughs> Whatever. Um, spikes. Yield is so horrible. So 300 on that tree. Three, three, two. Like on the lower right corner. Eventually, this, these numbers are gonna be like 60, 70. It's very slow going. Oh, take that tree. It's a new tree, I think. I don't think I've seen these. Yeah, this is not a bright, sunny area. We've been here for two years. It's always just a little cast. Which I actually prefer in the real world, but... Not in this, uh... Zombie land. I like a nice Teletubby place. Oh, what if there were Teletubby zombies? That'd be so funny. Little baby in the sun starts spitting vomit at you from the fucking sky. <laughs> Tinky Winky comes staggering in, loops his uh, coat hanger on top of his head, but loops it around your neck, just starts to in your... Alright, we're doing mining tools. So, more damage faster. Okay. Two, one. Alright, is this a mining tool or a construction tool? Am I wasting it?
Ugh, I am wasting. <laughs> Fuck. I have to be doing the fucking axe one. Shit. So now I got good mining skill. Great. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out how many I'm going to need. I'm just going to assume, let's go 7. If it's 7 by 7, I need 49, right? Isn't that how that works? Isn't that kind of what the math shakes out to be? So that would be, what, 26, 24, 23. Alright, the rest I'll do with spikes. And then I'll go start putting the spikes down. And hope I got the right amount. I mean... 49 seems like a crap ton, doesn't it? But it's multiple rows. It's crazy, man. Crap, that's again. Oh, I'm st food is terrible. I gotta start dying soon, right? Alright, so here, roughly it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that might be close. Oh, it leaves like a pile? What the hell? What, what the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna need more than that. Um, pile of wood. Okay, fine. Alright, uh, actually, you know, I don't know why these are... We want them to fall down here. But yeah, I'll leave them for now. But I'll damage them. fall.
So, what is this one? Oh, fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six. So about a six by six area. So it needs at least 30 now. Alright, so, that was a lot of fast forwarding there, but, oh shit, the temperature is plummeting, I need a, uh, camp do campfires go out in the rain, is that a thing? Uh, craft, um, where's the bed, there it is, so I'm pretty fucked up right now, I'm completely wet, everything's going horrible, <laughs> no, but I've got enough spikes for the floor, and I got some wood for repairing the bottom. I'm really kicking myself for not upping the uh, construction tool skill because I was doing the I did the mining thinking I'm using a mining it's because I'm, I'm dumb but uh because that would have given me more yield I'm sitting there watching the right corner of the wood going up it's one two three it's like ugh, every swing is one nuts it won't be that way forever eventually I'll get big ass numbers but right now it's like what the hell what the hell um so. I need to get warm. I'm gonna put. Can you pick up campfires? I don't think you can. Maybe I should go up top. Oh, James. Okay, I'll take that one. Guide roll. No, I thought I didn't make the jump. Let's do a roof. Dying soon anyway, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm use left to inspect, so what do I I can make glue? Yeah, that's what that is, okay. What's up? Do we need a roof for this? You think? Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Okay. 
We're building a nice little house here. Too bad we have to abandon it soon. But once we get up... Yeah, uh, it'll serve its function hopefully when we get past the seventh day. Yeah, exactly. Once we get past that. And also, our, then our skills will go up too. So we're going to a family of raccoons can move in. <laughs> They'll be the wealthiest raccoons ever. I'm dying of hunger in real life and in uh, the game life. It takes a long time to die from hunger. That's good. I feel nauseated and have bloody diarrhea. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I've had girls tell me that after dates. We got a zombie on the outside. Okay. Hit my spike. There she. Oh, she's dead. She, 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 yeah, she died, I mean. Need to repair those. Yeah. So I've got spikes for the bottom and I'll and enough some wood to do some um, some upgrades. Yeah, I need to go get more wood. Oh I'm shit, I'm on up. fire. Fuck god damn it. Yeah, I'm just warming up I'm just warming up by the fire before I can head it back out. Because it's fucking rain. die anyway, so it doesn't... Oh, I have to go my bedroll down. There we go. Like, it's a little bit bullshit that I'm going to let myself die because I can't eat enough to heal myself. But there's just nothing around, and we have so much other priorities to get through this blood moon. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't know, I don't like cheating the game that way, but it's not... Like, I should be focusing on getting food and building my health back up and whatever else. But at this point, we just need to get established somewhere else and start to explore this brave world and get through this first blood moon. So I'm okay with making that small concession. It's about morals, man. Alright, come on, fire. Did I have a hat? Electrical. That's cool. I'm gonna need to do a tactical death because I don't have antibiotics to cure the bloody diarrhea, which means I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm doing the same thing real soon. But I, I moved my bedroll but forgot to put it down and I realized it doesn't you know, I was like, oh shit. But yeah, we, we should totally... I'd rather play the game and like worry about food and stuff. But right now, at this point, it just makes sense to let myself die. Because this Blood Moon is going to be probably pretty brutal. Need some more arrows? I got, I got a lot.
spikes. Yeah. Great spot for the chest. <laughs> Have the greatest thing ever happen. What? I chopped down a tree and a zombie charged at me, and as the tree fell, it fell on the zombie and killed the zombie in one hit. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that would happen. That's great. Yeah, I'm gonna do a tactical death right now, though, so I can respawn without dysentery because it is wrecking me. Okay. I hope you come back and reincarnated without dysentery. Let's see if you were a good person. I'm just burned to death. Oops. I'm doing the same thing real soon too. In fact, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it right now because I'm just I can't I don't have any stamina. I'm wet. <laughs> I like listening to him murder himself. <laughs> you're, st you're still burning. You come back alive, burn. Here, watch. I'm going to burn. <laughs> Watch out. I'm going to be on fire when I come back to life. You were on fire. Yeah, I'm watching. Am yep, I burnt? you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up in flames. I woke yep. up in flames. My backpack's in the fucking fire. Alright. I'm just going to make a run for a bunch of trees. I work on a spike pit at night, that's what, so... Hey, turn your body so you can see me knock trees down, because I think they all cause this, like, dirt explosion. Oh, he's not, I didn't have the button down, damn it. Actually, let's see the button. Yeah, so I, I think that one before was just a vertical one of those. Good effect. Boom. <laughs> I like that. Hey, if you watch me while I chop down trees, you'll see the, the big the dirt explosions that happen. It's kind of funny looking. Oh yeah, I see him. this to get up there because that's going to give me a few points to spend on wood. Every little bit makes a big difference at this point. More of those small actions have consequences things that I like about this game. Looks like it gives the whole place the white cover, like it's snow, but it's not really. Oh yeah, I wanted to dig up 
More coffins. <laughs> Guess there's a few that James didn't get to. Grave robbing, son of a bitch. That's why I hope he died before me, so I can steal from his grave. I'm gonna get climb down there and get his Nintendo Switch. Awesome. Oh, that's the blue experience thing. James on fire in the distance. Let's try to shoot him with an arrow. <laughs> I've seen it's still just wasting. Okay. Do I get less when my stamina is at zero? Probably. Maybe I need to let it recharge. So I get two. Perks. Occasionally. That's pretty cool. That's good, uh, good shadow light ray stuff. Very literal. Like it just does it. No matter what. Or in the real world, it's a little bit, probably a little more blended out. I don't know. Why am I trying to compare? Because it's interesting and cool. Video games are amazing. Electricity? Come on, this is electricity. How fucking crazy is this stuff? It's so weird. I can't believe that we figured this out. This whole universe exists and it... You can almost see a version of the universe where this stuff is just impossible. Or just it's all like a bunch of basic matter that doesn't really work together. But when you piece it all out, discover the properties of each element, figure out how the chemistry works by combining different elements into different pieces. I know I sound like an idiot, I realize that. Oh, fuck, this dropped my... Um, I can't find it. And then combine it into different forms, treatments, processes, all sorts of things to change the matter. But the fundamentals of physics are always the same no matter what, which is really amazing. And it just gets better and better. And that's why it's frustrating when the world's filled with fuckery, morons, hoarding money, controlling governments, preventing science investment, preventing education. So frustrating because we can do so much with our knowledge, and we can help people, and we can make lives better. Instead, we just screw around. I mean, we do it. We do it. We actually do progress. We do make progress in this world. Believe it or not, it used to be pretty shitty. Although I still think we're in a pretty bad era. I think we we're really terrible towards each other about our brains. 
the fact that we still shame, people still feel shame for caring about their minds, meaning like getting therapy or... You don't feel shame when you treat your liver, but you feel shame when you treat your brain. It's very weird. I do too, and I have a fucked up brain. And it needs help. Uh, so... Uh, I'm in therapy, and that's good, but uh, I mean, that's not what I'm trying to get at. Uh, what was I trying to get at? <laughs> oh, like, the progress that we make. We just, we get so bogged down in old hatreds and ancient thinking. Silly old ideas that don't, that are encumbering. Not that you can necessarily flip a switch and turn them all off, but so many people's lives are damaged by bad policies and dumb you know, bad parenting especially is a big problem. Just in general. It's way easier to fucking get up than just get up. Not that I know the right answer, but, you know. Ideally, you want your kids to be better than you, right? Generally, most people probably feel like that. Make fewer mistakes. Make mistakes a little quicker. Be better towards each other. That kind of stuff. But all too often, parents treat their children in ways they don't even realize they're messing them up because they're messed up. And they're, uh, kind of replicating what they're talking about. Oh, yeah, so, uh, all right, here's, um, okay, don't fuck this up, Hank. You want to do, um, mining, not, no, yeah, construction. Okay, so now www for buying. Yeah, all right. With the tools. Okay. All right. Now, now this is the test. We'll see what we get. Four. Pretty good. I think I got enough wood, though. Honestly, I don't really need much more here. We'll check in. Ah, see, two, four, two. Those numbers are going up a little bit. We haven't seen a lot of fives on that side. Small differences, but it does add up. Plus, I have the weakest tool. Really low quality. field is just filled with abandoned stone axes. <laughs> like if you just used up a tool, you just toss it on the ground. Alright, let's see what James is doing. Is he on fire? <laughs> yes, he is. James, you know you're on fire. Did you know, you, were you just on fire? Nope, I'm nowhere near a fire. Yeah, no, running up here, you're on fire. You you, you weren't when I got a little closer, but <laughs> that's a that's a really effective. Uh, it's possible, it must be a graphical glitch or something. Yeah, it likes to keep the fire around, doesn't it? Or you're just it's just like the world's most efficient winter jacket. Maybe <laughs> it could be it. <laughs> Nothing warms you up faster than cauterizing like your that entire body. Might be getting closer. I've got a good, good load of wood here. Uh, Very true. I'm trying to think of what else I need. we need to prioritize right now. Food would be nice. Yeah, I still have like only nine arrows. Oh, really? All right, here, I'll give you a bunch of arrows. I got a bunch of arrows. I can't find any bird nests. Yeah, they're hard to spot. That's why I want the sunny days, because the, the, it's kind of they're not that they're not that hard to see, when, in, as I recall it, at least. Here, I'm going to bring you some arrows. You saw that one. Yo. Don't spend them all at one place. You know what? I'm going to run up and grab yucca cane. Or keep calling it yucca. I'm going to go get some yuccas. It's the only food that's available right now.
ground texture could be better. Do a zombie check, then we'll go here. Maybe there's a texture or something. Motion. Oh, I like motion blur. Let's go normal. Um, okay. I like that it's... I had a really hard time getting a good frame rate with A15. This is really stable. We'll do far. That's probably going to mess it up a little bit. Okay, so now it's under... Oh, 60. Kind of got to go into new areas and load new sections. But yeah, see 60 now. So it's just had to quickly load them all up. I have a good computer. I, I forget what the processor is. It's a, it's a fast one. It's not one of the better ones. It's a... Damn it. I fucking bought it and built it myself. I don't even know what it is. Um, oh. Oh, I wonder if it's like desert. I like the flowers, huh? Huh? <laughs> Who doesn't love a desert flower? Hey, people that don't like flowers, why don't you grow up, all right? They're great. They're colorful and they're cool looking and bees makes, make out with them and they're awesome. So, embrace the flower. Although don't literally, it'll kill the flower. Savage. Oh, oh. Ooh, is that a miner? If he's got a helmet. Clear for the fight. Oh, okay. I'll take it. All right, more yuccas. In a pinch, that stuff does... Actually, the, the drinks are good, but we don't have any glass. Just a problem. Scavenging. Alright. Man, fool, you're making me waste my arrows. I don't waste my arrows on your ass. Yeah, we've seen that. Everybody's on. One man's Grand Canyon is obviously different to, to, <laughs> to other people. Oh, this guy. Skinny guy with no, no shirt. Florida man. Oh, jeez, come on. Twice as hard to kill once they get up sometimes. <sighs> okay. I think they added these little flower offshoots of these cactuses. Those are cool. Good touch. Nice touch. 
Oh yeah, the MMA fight that I was cameramanning for last night. I think I mentioned that in one of the previous videos. Ooh, got a cinematic finally. Um, was a. Uh, it's just a small. There's a lot I could talk about for that event. There's all kinds of crazy shit happening. But um, these dudes just. One guy went down from a leather or uh, a leather, <laughs> a liver hit. It was cr it was early in the first round, like under 30 seconds. And he just sort of turned his body, and the other guy just, just jumped in on him and just jacked him right in the side. And I thought he broke a rib, because the dude went down. He went fucking... He wasn't out, but he went down in pain. And these are tough motherfuckers, man, these, these MMA guys. <laughs> Look, I think I'm tough. I'm not tough. I'm kind of tough, but no, no, no. These guys are just, like, savages. All fit and stuff. <laughs> but they're, they, they, they spend their time beating the shit out of each other. Oh, is that a businessman? Yeah, Dennis Miller. The ultimate Dennis <laughs> Um, anyway, the liver shot was crazy. At least I think that's what it was. I don't know. You just hit him on the side, kind of like that by the kid in the liver area. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. Run. 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 Okay. It's getting a little hot anyway. Whoa, look at that. Jeez. That's like a killer cactus. Um,. So that was crazy when that that one that was the one like there was a couple other knockout hits that were you know pretty crowd pleasing as well. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there was a dude from the Netherlands, and I didn't really have a good ear on the announcers, but because I'm on the comm system, which so I have a headset and I'm talking to like my, my crew and the other people, the other camera people and the, the director and stuff. He, he goes like this. He goes. He goes. Uh, Ready camera two, two, or no, two's hot. Ready camera one, steady, steady camera two. But one's hot. I did a bad job doing it. He does. So basically, he tells you he's about to switch you, so you know to hold, hold a little more still than when you're readjusting and stuff. Why am I talking? What was I saying? Um. Oh yeah, those. All this for not that interesting. A dude uh, from the Netherlands, and I heard the announcer through the comm thing because I can barely, I can kind of pick up the sound occasionally if no one's talking. Called him the Dutch Touch. <laughs> I just like that. Oh, what the fuck? James went down here and did it. James, I had all the spikes for down there. You did it without. You did it ahead of time. No worries. Yep, Wait. almost done. I know, but I've got 36 spikes I could contribute if you wanted, and a bunch of wood. But you got it. Oh, could always save them. Yeah, we'll save them. That's some of that key communication that I... I'm so proud of. Um, yep, the Dutch touch. So that was entertaining. This is a nice little base, honestly. This is more of a death pit. Probably overkill for this blood moon, really. Dude, I think Still we're gonna be good. Come down here and upgrade all the spikes. Yeah, I think we're good for this blood moon, though. Honestly, this is a nice little fort. I don't know how we're, they're not gonna get into the pit, and. You know, this is a good one. We, we, I think we're pretty set for the... Because the first Blood Moon's pretty weak-ass, isn't it? It is a half hour long. Oh. Alright, so enough of that rambling. Uh, food water. Blood water. I want to put some more stuff along the top just to be on the safe side. Alright. I need some frames. How much would I have? 1,000. Have a few frames. Hey, I got a mini bike chassis if you want one. It's yellow. Is that yellow or green? It's yellow. Yeah, because the green is really green. It's a little, it's a little greenish yellow. Oh. Whoa. Wait, I got. I'm. Hold on. Oh yeah. Okay. So maybe right here, right by the storage chest, is a good spot to leave open. <laughs> Actually, that's part of my. Oh, I have to upgrade a wood frame I place. Shit. All right, let's boil some water here. Um... Water. All of it. Although it won't be enough.
Look, I put a piece of meat on the fire just like uh, almost time. the forest. Well, it's almost time for night, but this isn't the, is this the blood moon? Isn't it after day seven? No, we got another day, I think. Yeah, we got another day, yeah. You freaked me out there. Yeah, we have another day, I think. I agree. That's what I was operating under. I'm making a bunch of water here with cans. Since the output's only six, I have to at least make sure there's only six left. Which there is. I don't know why I'm sitting here looking at it. and see what I can potentially raise. Yeah. I accidentally fucked up by increasing the wrong skill. I wanted to increase my construction tool, but I did my mining tool. So I could chop trees faster, but, uh, you know, oh well. Uh, Alright, let's make some frames. Okay, now let's upgrade these frames. Look at the upper right. Two or three. Three or three. Does that give me any stat points to spend? That's what I'm after. Uh, but I gotta find a. Oh, I've done the campfire thing a bunch. Hey, you know, for light, I guess we could put some campfires around the building. That might be all the only option we got. leave them on the entire time. So maybe like right before. I'm just doing this for the mission thing. Okay, trader. Oh yeah, five points. Okay, so I do want to keep going with the other one. Yeah, I think we might be okay for the first blood. Hey, I feel very confident now. Especially with the double layer of spikes, then the wall. Then, you know, can they destroy chests? Should should we move that chest upstairs or something? Um, so what is this one? Clothing or armor? Have you found a traitor yet? I don't think you can hear me. You know what? I'm going to go dig up a body in the grave. In the, well, no. I'm running out of time here. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. We don't have time yet, right now. Um, where's Ryan? Where's, he was right here. He's just doing his own. Maybe he's not in the game. Right. Offline. Alright, All right, dude, it's almost nighttime. Oh, yeah, birds, birds. Uh, Ryan had a Windows update forced on him, so it made him log out, but he should be back. Ugh, that sucks. We're gonna see how much light this campfire gives off. That's pretty much our only sort, only way of making light. All right. So we should. I say we keep these um, these floors open here so we can look down. Right. That's why you didn't repair, didn't fix them up. Yeah. Well, that's why I busted them up so we could see through them. Yeah. That's smart. So, do they, can they destroy chests? Because all of our, we have some stuff in there we I don't want to I think they lose. can. We might want to move stuff up really? here. I, mean, I, I haven't really looked in there in a long time. 
It's it's not a lot of super important stuff, but it's there's things. Oh, in I there do have some need. things you probably like. Yeah, like piles of dirt. Well, this stuff right here is very important. Here, I'll drop it for you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. What was that? Oh, oh, pine cones, motherfucker! Yeah. I know how you feel about that kind of stuff. Hell yeah! I can't wait to place them strategically around the apartment for maximum decoration. That flashlight's a lucky find too. They are pine cones. Yeah, big time. Well, my fire's out. Oh yeah, so sorry, sorry, I gotta end the video here, guys. So we'll pick up at the next time. Uh, it'll be nighttime, and we'll play some more. Or like, subscribe. Look in the description for Patreon links if it's up right now. I haven't made it yet, but oh well. Uh, it, I'm terrible at YouTube. And I hope you're enjoying our playthrough. Let us know if, what you're liking, and you know. See y'all later. Feel much safer here you. than I did when it was just a dirt hole. Me too. James, say goodbye to the listeners. <laughs>